In this video, we will discuss about problems on rectifiers. The four diodes used in a bridge rig circuit have a forward resistance which may be considered as constant at 1 ohm and infinite reverse resistance. The alternative supply voltage is 240 volts RMS and load resistance is 480 ohms. Find PIV ripple factor rectification efficiency the maximum voltage for alternating waveform is vm equals to vrms into root 2 therefore 240 into root 2 which gives 339.36 now at every instant there are two diodes that is always in odd condition therefore the total resistance is 2rf plus rl the maximum load current im equals to vm by 2rf plus rl since two diodes are in conducting for every instant im equals to 240 into root 2 by 2 into 1 plus 480 therefore 0 0.704 amperes mean load current r average load current r idc equals to 2 m by pi therefore 2 into 0 0.704 multiplied divided by pi equals to 0.448 amperes rms load current irms equals to im by root 2 0.704 by 1.414 equals to 0.497 amperes the peak inverse voltage piv is a equal to maximum secondary voltage which is maximum this is a maximum reverse voltage appear across a diode peak inverse voltage equals to 339.36 volts ripple factor is a ratio of isc by idc where isc equals to under root of irm square minus idc square therefore isc equals to under root of 0 0.497 whole square minus 0 0.448 by substituting the previous values you can update isc equals 0 0.2151 ripple factor equals to isc by idc therefore its value is 0 0.48 rectification to find out the rectification we need to find out the isc power input and DC power output. AC power input is IRM square into 2 RF plus RL equals to 0 0.48 square whole square into 2 plus 48. Now here we are considering 2 into RF is 2 into 1, which is equal to 119.05 watts. DC power output equals to IDC square into RL, which is IDC is 0 0.448 whole square multiplied by RL is 480, which is 96.33 volts. Rectification efficiency is DC output power by AC input power, which is 80.99 percentage. Consider another problem. A full wire rectifier uses two diodes. The internal resistance of each diode may be assumed constant at 20 ohms. The transformer RMS secondary voltage from center tap to each end of secondary is 50 volts and load resistance is 980 ohms. Find mean load current, the RMS value of load current. Peak inverse voltage, TUF, and ripple factor. Given RF equals to 20 ohms and RL equals to 980 ohms. Now, in the problem, the transformer RMS secondary voltage is given from center tap to each end of the secondary is 50 volts. Therefore, max voltage is 50 into root 2, which is 70.7 volts. The max load current is VM by RF plus RL. Now, in this case, only one diode is. On condition at any instant, therefore I am equals to 0 0.0707 amperes. Mean load current is IDC is 2 a by pi, which is 0 0.045 amperes, and the RMS value of load current is I am by root 2, which is 0 0.05 amperes. The peak inverse voltage is equal to the maximum secondary voltage since it is a given standard type of transformer, hence it is two times. Therefore, peak inverse voltage is 70.7 multiplied by 2, which is 141.4 volts. Transfer utilization factor for standard type of full wire rectifier is 0 0.636. Ripple factor. Ripple factor is the ratio of IIC by IDC, where IIC equals to under root of IRM square minus IDC square. Where now by substituting the value of IRMS and IDC from the previous values, we can obtain the value of IS is 0 0.02179 and the ripple factor value is IAC by IDC is which is 0 
consider another problem a crystal diode having internal resistance of 20 ohms rf equals to 20 ohms and for half wave rectification its applied voltage is 50 sin omega t see here in this problem 50 means it is a maximum value vm vm sin omega t and the load resistance rl is given which is 800 ohms now from the given data we can write rf and rl and the maximum voltage is given vm equals to 50 volts from the equation therefore we need to find out the value of im idc irms now to find out the value of im im is equals to vm by rf plus rl I, vm is 50 I, therefore im equals 50 by 20 plus 800 this gives 0 0.061 amperes and the value of idc is equals to im by pi which is 64 milliamperes by pi which is 18.4 milliamperes or 0 0.194 amperes rms value of load current is i rms equals to im by 2 since it is a half wave the value of I rms is im by 2 which is 61 by 2 milliamperes which is 30.5 milliamperes or 0 or 0 0.0305 amperes the ac power input is i rm square into rf plus rl which is 0 0.0305 whole square into 20 plus 800 which gives 0.763 watts dc power output is idc square into rl which is 0 0.301 watts since he is asking to gc output voltage idc into rl which is 15.52 volts and the rectification efficiency is output power by input power output power is 0 0.301 whereas input power is 0 0.763 and it is 39.3 percentage is the efficiency of the for the given problem consider another problem a full wave rectifier has four diodes the internal resistance of each diode may be assumed constant as 100 ohms and the transformer rms secondary voltage from center diode to each end is 12 0 volts rms and load resistance is 4000 ohms find dc load current efficiency peak inverse voltage transfer utilization factor and ripple factor is given the value of standard tap to secondary end of the secondary is 12 volts now the maximum voltage is vrms into root 2 which gives 16.97 volts and to find out the maximum load current is im equals to vm by rf plus rl since one diode is always in all conduction mode the value of im equals to vm by rf plus rl mean load current idc is equals to mean load current or average load current idc equals to 2 im by pi which is 2 in 24.139 by pi which is 2.635 milliamperes rms value of load current is irm is equal to im by root 2 it is 4.139 milliamperes by 1.414 which is 2.927 milliamperes the ac power input is irm square into rf plus rl since it is in milliamperes that's why we are dividing with thousand the value of ac input power is 0 0.0351 watts whereas dc output power is id square into rl which is 0 0.0277 watts the efficiency rectifier efficiency is output power by input power we can update 78.91 percentage the peak inverse voltage is the maximum inverse voltage since it is 12 volts into root 2 we use a 62.97 it is a set tapped then the value of maximum voltage appear across the diode during reverse bias condition is multiplied by 2 vm its value is 33.94 and the transfer relation for factor for half a full wave rectifier is 0. Transfer by utilization factor for full wave rectifier is 0 0.636. And the ripple factor is given by IAC by IDC, where IAC is the RMS root of RMS square minus IDC square, which gives the value of ripple factor is 0 0.48 by substituting the values. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe if it is useful.